Hello, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm just going to do a very quick lesson on how to shoot the enemy character and have a ragdoll effect. So, for this particular lesson, I'm going to open up a first person shooter and create the project, and then I'm going to show you the, the ragdoll effect um, once we've done a collision with our projectile. Okay, once our project started up, and um, the first thing I'm going to need to do is to open up the third person um, content so that I can I can use them as the as the enemy that we're going to shoot. So to do that, I can just do import. No, sorry, I can just do add new and add feature or content pack, and I'll pick in the third person. And I'll click add to project <clears throat> once that's added in I've now got my third person characters as well so I can go to um, third person blueprints and there's the character class I'll just duplicate that and call it enemy one um, now, now that I've got that I can just double click that to open up the map and I don't need all of this, so I'll just zoom out and delete all that very quickly. So the first thing I need to do now is go to the viewport. I won't be needing that camera, so I can delete it. So what I need to do now is to add in a, a new mesh to our character. Um, so that when, when our uh, projectile hits that mesh, our character will be killed and the ragdoll effect will happen. So I'll do add component and I'll pick a capsule collision and I'll call it enemy collision mesh and you see that it's put it into the center of our character so I'll just resize that take it down a little bit there so this is the area that that will be affected when our character gets hit um, so that's that's our collision mesh made what I need to do now is make sure that I've got the collision mesh connect um, highlighted like I have and I go to event graph again and if I scroll down I can do you'll see I got on component I can do on component hit so if I click add it brings in on component hit so, so now I can now I can start making my collision mesh so on hitting the collision mesh I want to cast to I want to cast to my first person projectile that would be the bullet and it's going to be another actor and the object so it's, this is the other actor, this is my um, bullet, and it's hitting the enemy collision mesh. So with that done, the next, uh, the next thing we, we could do, we could add in sounds, we could add in all kinds of things, but I've shown you that in previous lessons. So if you look at those tutorials, the next thing I need to do now is set um, simulate physics. So if I do set, simulate and I, if you notice I've make sure I've got context sensitive ticked set simulate simulate physics but this is going to be with the enemy with the enemy's mesh this is the main mesh that surrounds the enemy and you'll notice it, it brings in it does actually bring in the mesh for me as well so I'll move that out of the way so you can see it so I've got I've got set simulate physics and I what I need to do is tick simulate to make sure that's ticked and that's pretty much it so if I compile that and then close it down I'll save it and then I close it down I need to drag an enemy on I'll put one there I'll put another one there okay I'll play the game and you'll see when I shoot the character he may just drop through the floor and he's dropped through the floor same again they drop through the floor 
So once that, once you've got that, you need to go back into your any mesh, and you need to expand out a little bit, and you'll see an area under here. Look what we're looking for. We need to click the um, mesh inherited, and then we'll then then we'll see that things have changed here. So I click mesh inherited, all this has changed, and I'm looking down here for collision, and you've got collision presets. If you if you click this and pick ragdoll. Here and now save it, and you'll find that that the game now works. So when I play the game this time, you see that he's fallen over, and the same again, and you can just shoot them around the screen then. So that's basically the ragdoll effect. And how to, how to add some new effects to your game. I hope you found that lesson useful. And all you need to do now is go on and add the pawn sensing features to the character. They'll come running after you. And then when you shoot them, you should see some extra effects. Thank you for listening.